So it's my pleasure to introduce Patricia Evans to open the exhibition. The artist from Mount Magna Art Centre and Patricia's role as CEO of the Batamaya and Aboriginal Corporation. Hi everyone. Um, yep, yeah, I'm here to showcase the art from the Windermine Art Centre, which is based in Mount Magnet. The um, Art Centre has mostly Badimara and Wadri Yamji artists that paint, and most of them live in and around Mount Magnet. They like to, um, I mean, we only paint with acrylic on canvas, and they like to paint their country. So whether it be um, tracks to rock holes or actual rock holes um, and picnic places or that they visit. So a lot of, um, a lot of on country stuff. They also like to paint um, the Seven Sisters, which is a mythological story about how um, Seven Sisters, in their eyes, Seven Sisters came down just outside of Mount Magnet and landed on a white hill and then went back up into the sky. So it's sort of a, um, a story, the way they interpret it, is about sisterhood and, and you know, being together, but the, the most Aboriginal groups are connected to a Seven Sister story, which is sort of about a man chasing, chasing women. Um, yeah, and so the artists um, really love to paint, and what they love, which I think is beautiful, is they love people purchasing their art so that they display it in their house. Because for them, that's like when people are taking a piece of their country back and showcasing it to everyone else. So I hope you enjoy the art, and um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Patricia. Now I'd like to introduce okay. Mary Capritano to, as the uh, president of the Socking Development Foundation, and Sabine Bird, who is the coordinator of the Lambton Socking Project, discuss CDF and the Sunken Project. Hello, I'm Mary Tennant, I'm on the board of the Cycling Development Foundation. Um, each year we run a uh, charity ride that goes from Perth to Layton and we run a project out in Layton, which I'll get Sabine to talk about. Um, but in the four, the four years that we've been running that, that um, charity ride from Perth to Layton, we've gone through better my country. And we like to, on this ride, we like to engage with the Aboriginal groups along the way. So we've developed a relationship with the Batamaya group, and they have very kindly taken us out for a tour of the Granites, which is in their local area, and part of their history and dreaming. Um, so we have, we have four pillars to the, to the Cycling Development Foundation. We have uh, a, a, an elite group of cyclists who compete nationally and internationally. We have a Junior Cycling Academy, um, which is young children from 7 to 17 who compete locally, and, and their trajectory is to go into the, um, the elite group. We have the Laverton Cycling Project, and we have the Masters Cyclists. So we're all about cycling, and bringing cycling to people, whether they be Aboriginal children out of the country, or elites off racing in various um, uh, sports <laughs> activities. <laughs> I'll hand over to Sabine. <laughs> I'm Sabine Bird. I organise the Leighton Cycling Project. Obviously, it's run in Leighton. However, the the connection between the Badamaya and other surrounding language groups is very similar. It's very strong. There's um, a story about the Swan River that connects um, all the different groups from Perth all the way up to Leighton and even further. So um, the art that we see here is pretty much what we see, very similar to what we see in Leighton as well. As Patricia already said, they try and um, want to connect with country and we see that in Leighton as well. So when we take the kids on the bike ride, we take them to country and that's what they like the most. Especially the older kids, um, when we ask them why they like bike riding, they often say, well, it's um, a way to go to country and to experience some sort of freedom and to go to their sites that they want to go, um, which is really convenient um, when you have a bike. Not so convenient if you don't have a bike. So we appreciate that feedback a lot and that's what we make um, the most of it. Um, the little ones are um, in a similar group. They like to race their little bikes down the roads, down the streets of Leighton. 
but also like to go bush. Similar um, thing there, if they see a little uh, guana hole or a tree with um, bush bananas, they stop immediately. They show us exactly what it is, where to find certain things. And um, we see a lot on one bike ride already, which is great. So the layer of cycling project is not just about learning about road safety or skills, riding skills. It's also about giving them the opportunity to get around and um, show us their side in a different way. Thanks.